Welcome to the Bubble Sort. This video is taking a hands-on approach to the Bubble Sort algorithm. The Bubble Sort is one of many sorting algorithms which just means we are looking to put an array of items in order from least to greatest. On the left I have written some human friendly steps to do our Bubble Sort with the cards and on the right you can take a look at the pseudocode in case you want to try programming it in whatever language of your choice. So grab those deck of cards and try this yourself along with the video. To start, I randomly pick 6 cards and put them on the table. We always begin at the first 2 which is 5 and 3. Since 5 is larger than 3, we swap these 2 cards. Next we move to the next pair which is 5 and 9, we compare them. Since 5 is less than 9, there is no reason to swap. We move on to the next pair of cards which is 9 and 8. Since 9 is larger than 8, we swap these and the 8 goes where the 9 was, the 9 where the 8 was. We continue this with the 9 and the 2, 9 is greater than 2, swap those two cards, and move on to the last two which is 9 and 7. Since 9 is larger than 7, we swap those, and notice that 9 is the largest number, it has bubbled to the top of this array, and that is already sorted and we do not need to move the 9 anymore. We repeat this process with the 3 and the 5. 3 is less than 5 so no swap is needed, 5 and 8 same thing, it's less than 8 so no swap is needed, but the 8 and the 2, since 8 is larger than 2, we move and swap those two cards. Move to the next pair, since 8 is larger than 7, we swap again, and now 8 is sorted in the correct order, and 8 and 9 are sorted. Go back to the beginning, check 3 and 5, nothing to swap there. Now we check 5 and 2, since 5 is larger than 2, we swap those two, then 5 and 7, no reason to swap, so 7 is now sorted. Repeat again, 2 and 3, since 2 is less than 3, we have to swap these two cards. Now we check the 3 and the 5, there is nothing to swap there because 3 is less than 5, and 5 is sorted. Lastly, one more check, is 2 less than 3, it is, so nothing to swap, and now we have an array that is ordered or sorted from least to greatest all using the bubble sort algorithm. Now you can try the bubble sort algorithm on your own. Shuffle your cards and randomly pick out 6 or more than 6 if you want and you can also include the face cards if you know how to order those. So that's the playing card version of the bubble sort algorithm.